five. Hello everybody, my name is Chantel, aka the Teletube, and today I'm going to be showing you how I get ready for Raptors games along with some pre-game rituals. Today the Raptors are taking on the Milwaukee Bucks in game one of the Eastern Conference Finals, and spoiler alert, we lost by eight. <sighs> I'm so stressed. Eight! Whatever, that game's behind us. Game two is on Friday, which is actually the day this vlog drops. Now, normally I don't do get ready with me's and I'm not a beauty guru, pretty girl, makeup, makeup type of channel. And I'm probably gonna get a few downvotes because of this. And to be honest, I really don't care. Hashtag no given. Seeing as though this is my first time doing something like this, but I thought that it would be cool to show you guys how I prepare for Raptors games since my channel is basically branded, not partnered or sponsored, branded with Raptor stuff so I kind of have to stay on topic with my videos and just a heads up some of my preps are exaggerated because most of the time I'm procrastinating what to do like I'll pace up and down the hallway like oh my god what do I do I'll go look in the fridge a million times and then I just bust everything within like 30 minutes before I leave so without further ado here we go so this is what I do to my hair to make it all nice and curly. All the pain and struggles to tame my lion's mane is worth it and none of you ugly bum ass bitches can ever take that confidence away from me. And yes, I have been bullied for having curly hair, but I'll do a story time about that sometime in the future, but for now, I'm just gonna show y'all what I do to my hair before I go to the game. What I do is actually kind of new, but I've been doing it for a while now. So after I wash my hair, I comb it out, part it, and divide it into four so I can evenly distribute the product on my hair. Uh, sometimes I have to wet my hair again because the ends will dry fast and I actually think I'm due for a haircut, but I'll most likely get one before I go on vacation, which will most likely be at the beginning of July and heads up, I'm going to the cottage, maybe. We'll see. For sure I'm going to Cuba in December with the fam and you'll see why towards the end of the video, so you know, stick around for that. It's actually kind of cool, really. Like, I was so shocked. Like, at first he said a completely different name, but then he said my last name, and I was like, uh, yeah, that's me. Like, I was, I'm 100% sure that there's nobody in this square with my last name. Like, do you know how rare my last name is? It's so rare. I didn't even think there's anybody in the city or country with my last name. I mean, I know, I know for sure there's someone in the States with my last name, and I actually DM'd her on Instagram, and I was like, oh my god, sister, and she was like, what? And I was like, uh, we have the same last name, and she just kind of left me on red, like, oh, f*** you too, bitch. No one's begging. Anyways, and this is how I do my hair. And honestly, I got so cheesed doing my edges and I fixed my edges after that, but they got ruined by the rain in case you guys skipped the part at the beginning. And again, hashtag no f***s given. So before I go to the game, I make myself a pre-game chocolate peanut butter banana shake, which is actually ironic because later that same day, I had a poutine, which is actually unhealthy. And how I make it is I take one banana and I usually go for organic, but my mother bought Dole even after. I specifically told her not to, but I'm not in charge of the groceries, am I? Until you start to pay the bills, you can't tell me what to buy from the groceries. I mean, these bananas, they go brown before they even stop being being green so hey organic bananas last longer too and then i put in two scoops of peanut butter and then pour in chocolate almond milk until i feel like it's the right amount and then i add in a scoop or two of ice cubes just to keep it cool okay while my shake is blending can we just take a minute to talk about that shot by Kawhi Leonard in game seven <laughs> holy sh like i'm still freaking out about it like every time the ball bells my heart stopped i was like Ugh. But I knew the ball was gonna drop after the first bounce and it went straight up. I was like, yup, that's in. This man did what Vince Carter couldn't do 18 years ago. Like I've been saying, someone needs to raise a statue of Masai Ujiri in front of the Scotiabank Arena because with all due respect, if we still had DeRozan, we wouldn't even be here. I mean, yeah, we can put Kawhi in the statue too. And Drake for the reverse curve shorts. I mean, that was genius. Like someone has to buy him a Bucks jersey and we're golden. Ladies and gentlemen, your 2019 NBA champions, the Toronto Raptors! Yes, believe it or not, Eli is a part of how I get ready, and it's like he knows when it's Raptors game day because every time before I leave, he always has to pee. It's like, Tuntel, take me pee, Tuntel. 
to tell. And before you say it, yes, my nickname to the dog is Tuntel and I, I just love it. I love everything about it. It makes me feel all bubbly and cute inside. I just want to hug the living sh out of my dog, but I can't because he's a living thing and I don't want to suffocate him because I'm just not ready for him to leave yet. And don't even think about calling me Tuntel in public or anything because I won't reply to you. I, I just, I, I won't even look at you or even acknowledge you because that is my name to the dog and the dog only. My mom calls me Belle and one time Shanice called me Belle and I didn't even know she was calling me until she told me and I was like, that was you? So right away, don't call me anything other than Chantel, Telly, the Telly Tube, you know, my public names. Oh, and don't even think about calling me by the Govy, because I will slap the sh out of you. There's only a select few that know my middle name, so just don't. Okay, this part of me getting ready for the Raptors games is usually done in the bathroom while I'm brushing my teeth and mouth washing. And by the way, I've never had a cavity, but unfortunately there's not enough space for me to do my thing with the camera and tripod in the bathroom at the same time because the bathroom is quite small and I actually use the whole floor to do my thing. Plus the bathroom I brush my teeth in is the only bathroom that has a lock on it that you can't just open with, I don't know, a knife? Or your fingernail wrapped in a shirt if you're my mother. No offense. I mean, one time we had this old lock. I was dancing in the bathroom and I didn't hear my mother at the door because my headphones are noise canceling. But I felt the wind from the door opening and she was like, what the hell are you doing? And I'm like, nothing. Okay, so normally I pack my bags way in advance so that I'm not rushing to gather my stuff last second. The things I always make sure are packed are my keys, my wallet, and my phone. And that's something dad has always taught me to always make sure I pack because they're basically the most important things that I need. I also pack a portable charger because shooting videos on my phone drains a lot of battery. Plus, I use my phone for other things. I mean, I remember that one time I forgot the charger at home at the Drake concert and I was literally, oh my god, my phone barely hanging on to 20%. Uh, usually on away games, I bring a backpack so I can put my jacket and other things inside, but on home games, I bring a string bag just in case I win tickets so I don't have to check a backpack into the bag check because of the newish bag policy. I hope you enjoyed this struggle ass get ready with me and like I said, I don't usually do these, but I thought it would be a great way to show you how I prep for Raptors games. Make sure you stick around for the Jurassic Park vlog, which is coming up now a few moments later okay we walk off in the view ball in the view okay popping out the levels and for rockers in the view i checked the weather before i left man they didn't say rain it's supposed to be like this no rain no rain no rain where's that no rain it's not even he's gonna splash like it's Win the best seats in the house with a nice elevated view just at the bartenders over there. Holy sh guys, I just won a thousand dollars. Upon my check, upon my check, I am now a thousand dollars richer because I'm the best shooter in this goddamn park. <laughs> yo, the raptor tried to take my check. I was like, yo, don't play my money. What the hell? Oh, Well, you know the huge after a loss. Not the outcome I was expecting, but I mean, I still won because I got to meet the mayor and I won a thousand bucks. I won a thousand bucks. So guess what? I'm going to Cuba in December. So I'm gonna turn up in Cuba in December. Make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel, hit the notification bell. It's pretty quiet in here. I don't wanna like hype up. Uh, raps in five. I know I'm like the only one that's saying raps in four, but we kind of threw away the game because it was going our way. So yeah, at the end of the day, raps in five, right? 
I am.